guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some ARC, doing some tutorials, learning some stuff. If you guys do enjoy these videos, if you're learning something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell if you haven't done so already. So today, well today it looks like my textures aren't loading in. Do you see this? Why is it so weird? What's it look like outside? A little weird. Weird. Anyways, sometimes glitches happen. It is still early access, and I'm sure glitches will continue beyond that as well. So today, the first thing we want to do is we want to make a bed. And you're like, a bed? You don't sleep. But a bed it actually acts as a respawn point. So let's check it out. Have we learned a bed yet? We learned the sleeping bag, which is the first bed. Now, the thing with sleeping bags, they're only one-time use. You die, you can respawn in your sleeping bag, it disappears. You can also pick them back up. What we need for that is fiber and hide. Now on fiber, we got plenty. Hide though, however, we have none. Um, so first though, since we are in here, let's go ahead and craft another storage box uh, so that we can put our stuff here. So in case we die, we don't lose everything. Let's go ahead and make one of these suckers. And then what we need to do is start making uh, some kind of weapon. Uh, I think a spear usually works out well. Let's grab that and let's go right. And let's throw it right here in this corner because uh, why not? There we go. And we'll go ahead and throw everything in it. We don't want to carry around. And uh, let's go ahead and look. Did we learn spear yet? Okay, let's look at our Ingrams. Let's learn spear. Uh, what else do we got? Spear is usually a pretty good option to start. Let's learn the slingshot. We're probably going to need that soon. Let's learn the regular bed, because if we get enough, we'll go straight to bed. Let's go ahead and just make spears, because spears, I think, it work really well in the beginning. So you fiber, flint, and wood. So let's grab what we got over here. We got wood and fiber, so we're going to need to get some flint. So if you guys remember, the way that you get flint is by harvesting with the pick rocks. So we should be able to just harvest here for a bit and get a bunch of flint. So I'm going to gather enough materials to build up uh, some spears, and then I will bring y'all back. All right, we've got spears crafting up. Now we need to find something to kill. Okay, here's a perfect thing to kill first. The, right in front of us is a little creature called the Lystrosaurus. They are completely passive. If you attack them, they will not attack back. So that means you can walk right up and you can stab it in its stupid face. And it's just going to run away. So we'll just keep doing this. We're going to kill this sucker. Shouldn't take, shouldn't be very difficult. There it goes. Now to harvest hide, you can use the, the pick or the hatchet, but the hatchet gathers considerably better. There you go. The pick will gather more meat though. Three hide. Oh no. Okay, this is a moss chops. So they generally do not attack as well. Let's stab it right in the stupid face. Whoa. All right, just follow the sucker around and kill it. We're gonna need to gather, kill a lot of things. Cause I have gathering rates set to just normal vanilla standards, uh, which means <laughs> it's slow. And any other server things are upped quite a bit. Oh, and our spear broke. So the spears can break, which is why you make multiple. And now we're starving. How are we getting so much meat and not from very little hide? This is awful. There we go, here we go. Woo, 23 hide. Now, while I am gathering berries, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of a tip. So check this out. So it's nighttime right now and it can get pretty dark at night. This is not too bad, but there are some areas that get real dark. Um, and obviously carrying a torch around definitely makes a big difference. We can check that out. But if you are on a PVE server or uh, an official PVP server where this is enabled, you can also use some console commands. So what that means is there's some little things you can put type in, um, the most common of which that everyone uses, and here's a great little tip for you, is to up your gamma. And the way you do that is you hit tab to bring up the console menu, type gamma, and then whatever you wanna increase it to. Three will brighten things up a bit. Four will go even brighter. Five is the brightest. I don't think you can go higher than that. Yeah, five's the bright brightest. Gamma four right now seems perfect. It allows a little more visibility. It does wash out colors a bit. I mean, it ups the gamma, so I mean, you can play around with it, see what you like. And then you just type in gamma with no number, like so, to make it go back to regular. We're gonna leave it on gamma four for now, since it is nighttime. I'm gonna go ahead and keep gathering some berries so I don't starve to death. And then we're gonna go out and get some more hide. All right, guys, we are back to base. And uh, it's time to go ahead and build us a bed. We should have enough materials now. Let's take a look. And bed, 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 there it is. So for the bed, we need 30 fiber, 40 hide, 80 thatch, and 15 wood. Looks like we're just short on thatch. We go ahead and grab that from here, and we would make ourselves... Like... Oh, I need a little more thatch. I don't have enough. All right, so we can quickly go out and just hit a tree. Look at that tree right there. Get a little bit more thatch. There we go. And let's go ahead and get back inside to the safety of our little thatch hut. And we'll go ahead and make ourselves one of them beds. Here it goes. So once we craft it up, we can place it just like any other piece. You throw it on your hotbar and you put it on the ground. 
And now let's throw it right over here because who cares? Perfect. And there it is. We don't have to claim it or anything. We are automatically attached to it. If you are in a tribe, any tribe member can respond, respawn at any bed. So here, let's go ahead and show you how it works. Let's put everything in here. Oh, we can't fit everything. All right, that's all right. We'll put the rest outside. We did leave a box out here that we just haven't moved yet. All right, everything is stored. We have nothing on our body. And now we're gonna have the super awesome task of dying. We're already losing health from being hungry. Hey, little Triceratops, how you doing? I don't wanna die by you. I want you to kinda hang out here for a little bit. Let's go swim in the ocean, see if a piranha will eat us. There we go. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Hey bud, how's it going? Time to fight with some piranhas. I got this. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, they got me. So now we can go ahead and select that bed instead of respawning in a random area. You'll see it right here on your map. You can click it and click respawn at bed. And then you're back in your hut. Now, the only thing you do have to remember is they do have a cooldown. So you can only use the bed every five minutes. So you can make multiple beds, stack them on top of each other, put a bunch there so you can constantly be respawning. Now, the last thing I do want to touch on in this video is repairing things. So first, we're going to beat the crap out of this rock. If you look on the hot bar in the two slot, you can see a little meter going slowly down. That is the durability of this item going down. So when it gets to zero, it breaks. And I... No matter if I hit two, I can't bring it back out until it's repaired. Um, now, if you hold the button, it'll say on the right when you need to repair it, one flint, five thatch, one wood. You can also, of course, make another one or in your or hover over it and it'll tell you there as well. So we need to get five thatch and one wood, which is not a problem. So we're going to gather stuff up here. There's some thatch. Come on, get, get one piece of wood. There we go, one wood. That's how much we needed, right? Perfect. So now in your inventory, you can right click if it's in here and repair. Or if it's on your hotbar, you can simply hit the number it is. It'll automatically repair in your inventory and then it'll stay there, uh, which is awesome. Not everything can be repaired on your body. Some things will be repaired in certain crafting stations and whatnot, and we will get to that uh, at some point. But for now, this is just the basic stuff. So you have to keep making hatchet after hatchet or pick after pick or torch after torch or whatever it is. Um, now, you do have to also be wary of things on your hotbar. If you look at my number three slot, it does show a torch there. I don't have the torch. That's why it's uh, grayed out. I left it in the box. But if since it's there, if I hit, accidentally hit three, it'll try to craft one. Now, luckily, I don't have the material, so I'm not going to waste them on that. But it will normally craft it right there for me, which can be very convenient. But it also cause problems and make you waste materials you didn't mean to. Uh, but for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy this video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring the notification bell if you haven't done so already. You can also hit me up on all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, even your Google Plus, even though nobody ever uses it. Check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash X. There's also a link to a stream tip jar in my description below. But anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. Let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see. I do have a list I'm working on as right now, but I can use extra ideas as well before today guys i really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me until next time i will see you later